गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट सायरा लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर नंबर एट डेसिमल्स इन टू डे सेशन यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट टू सो लेट्स सी वॉट इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कंप्लीट द टेबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज बॉक्सेस एंड यूज डेसिमल्स टू राइट द नंबर सो हियर इन द बॉक्स वी कैन सी दैट हियर वी डोंट हैव एनी वन और होल okay so in ones we write zero how many tens are there there are two tens so two tens here and how many hundreds are there there are six hundreds so the number will be 0.26 the number will be 0.26 now next one here we have one whole how many tens are there three tens are there and how many hundreds are there there are 800s so what will be the number the number will be 1.38 now next problem here we have one ones one whole how many tens are there three tens are there and how many hundreds are there there are 800s so the number will be 1.38 3 now coming to the next question question number 2 write the numbers given in the following place value table in decimal form so in the place value system the numbers are given we have to write the number in decimal form a is we have 0 100s 0 10s 3 1s Two tens, five hundreds, and zero thousands. So it is zero hundreds plus zero tens plus three ones plus two tens plus five hundreds plus zero thousands. So it will be zero hundreds, zero tens, three ones, three into one, and two tens, two into one upon ten, five hundreds, five into one upon hundred plus zero. So it will become zero plus zero. Plus three plus two tens plus five hundreds plus zero thousands. So what will be the number? The number will be three point three plus zero point two plus zero point zero five plus zero point zero zero zero. That means it will be three point two five zero. Or we can write three point two five is the number. Now moving on to the second one. B. We have One hundred hundreds here, zero tens, two ones, six tens, three hundreds, and zero thousands. So it will be one into one hundred plus zero into ten plus two ones plus six into one upon ten plus three into one upon hundred plus zero. So it will become one hundred plus zero. Plus two plus six tens, three hundreds and zero. So the number will be one hundred and two plus point six three zero. Or we can also write one hundred and two point six three. Moving on to the next problem, C. Here we have zero hundreds, three tens, zero ones, zero one tens, two hundreds. And five thousands. So we have written it here: zero hundreds plus three tens plus zero ones plus zero tens plus two hundreds plus five thousands. So the number will be zero into hundred plus three into ten plus zero into one tens. Okay, zero into one uh, one zero into one tens two into one hundreds and five into one thousands. So it will be zero plus thirty plus zero plus point zero plus zero point zero two plus zero point zero zero five. So the number will be thirty point zero two five. Moving on to the next problem, D. Here we have two hundreds, one tens, one ones, nine tens, zero hundreds, and two thousands. So we add them all. What we get? We get two into hundred plus one into ten 
plus 2 into 1 tenth plus 0 into 1 hundredth plus 2 into 1 thousandths. It is not 100 thousandths. So, it will be 200 plus 10 plus 1 plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.00 plus 0 0.002. When we add them, what we get? 211 plus 0 0.09, 0 0.902. That means the number will be 211.902. 211 plus 0 0.902 is the number. Question number 3 of exercise 8.2. Here we have to write the decimals in the place value system. Okay. So, so the first decimal that is given is 0 0.29. So, here we have 0 hundreds, 0 tenths, and 0 ones and we have 2 tenths and 9 hundredths and 0 1000. Next one is B 2.08. So we have 0 hundredths, 0 tenths, 2 ones, 0 tenths and 8 hundredths and 0 thousandths. C 19.60. So, you have here 0 hundredths, 1 tenths, 9 ones, 6 tenths and 0 hundredths and 0 thousandths. D 148.32. So, here we have 100, 4 tenths, 8 ones, 3 tenths, 2 hundredths and 0 thousandths. Last one E 200.812. So, here we have 200, 0 tenths, 0 ones, 8 tenths, 1 hundredth and 2 thousandths. This is how we write the decimals in the place value table. Now, next question, question number 4. Write each of the following as decimals. Here the expanded form of decimal is given and we have to write the decimal. First one 20 plus 9 plus 4 tenths plus 1 hundredths. So 20 plus 9 we get 29 plus 4 tenths means 0 0.4 plus 1 hundredths means 0 0.01. So what will be the number? The number will be 29.41. Now B, 137 plus 5 hundredths. So here we don't have any tenths. So 137 plus 0 0.05. 5 hundredths means 0 0.05. So when we add them, what we get? We get 137.05. Problem number C, 7 upon 10, that means 7 tenths plus 6 hundredths plus 4 thousandths. So, it will be 0 0.7 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.004. So, what do we get? We get 0 0.764 as the answer. D 23 plus 2 tenths plus 6 thousandths. So, we have 23 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.006. In hundredths place, we don't have anything. That means it's 0. So, what do we get? We get 23.206. E, 700 plus 20 plus 5. 700 plus 20 plus 5 plus 9 hundredths. So, 700 plus 20 plus 5 gives us 725. And 9 hundredths means it is 0.09. Nine. In tens place we have 0. So we have the number like this 725.09. Moving on to the next problem. Problem number 5 of exercise 8.2. Write each of the following decimals in words. So decimals are given and we have to write in words. A is 0 0.03. B 
1.20 see 108.56 it is not 56 108.56 56 then d 10.07 E 0.032 F 5.008 Question number 6 of exercise 8.2 Between which two numbers in tens place on the number line does each of the given numbers lie? So we have to tell which to between, between which two numbers in tens place the following numbers they lie first one is 0.06 so where does 0.06 lies 0.06 lies between 0, 0 and 0.1 b 0.45 0.45 lies between 0.4 and 0.5 in tens place then 0 0.19 where does this lie 0 0.19 lies between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 d 0 0.66 where does it lie on the number line in tens place it lies between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 e 0 0.92 0.92 lies between 0.9 and 1 and F 0.57 it lies between 0.5 and 0.6 moving on to the next question question number 7 write as fraction in lowest term so the decimal number is given we have to write as fraction and that too in lowest term first one is 0 0.60 0 0.60 means 60 hundreds so we will write it as 60 upon 100 now 60 upon 100 we can cancel out the zeros and we get 6 upon 10 6 upon 10 to bring it into lowest term we divide both of the numerator and the denominator by 2 what do we get we get 3 upon 5 so 3 upon 5 is the lowest term of 0 0.60 or 60 upon 100 b is 0 0.05 that means it is 500 we will write it like 5 upon 100 and in the lowest form it will be 1 upon 20 5 upon 100 when divided by 5 both the numerator and the denominator so what we what do we get we get 1 upon 20 as the lowest term Form. next question 0 0.05 so again the same one is repeated next one 0 0.75 so it is 7500 so we will write 75 upon 100 and what will be the lowest form of this it will be 3 upon 4 d 0 0.18 0 0.18 means 1800 so we can write it as 18 upon 100 and what will be its slowest form it will be 9 upon 50 next one e 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 means 2500 so we will write 25 upon 100 to bring it into the lowest form we can multiply uh, divide both by 25 what do we get we get 1 upon 4 so 1 upon 4 is the lowest form of this then next one f 0 0.125 so it is 125 hundreds a uh, thousands so it is 125 upon 1000 to bring it into lowest term, term we will divide both by 125 and what do we get we get 1 upon 8 as the lowest term g is 0 0.066 that means it is 66 thousands so we will write it as 66 upon 1000 and what will be its lowest form when we divide both the numerator and the 
denominator by 2 we get 33 upon 500 as the lowest form of this fraction. Children with this question we come to the end of exercise 8.2 in our coming session we will discuss new topic and solve more problems. Thank you.